we are. To Rover's Woods again. Forestry work in progress. That's dieback tree works. Hey, hey, we're going to be using horses to drag out the old, the uh, cut down wood. Cool. That's good for the environment. Let's go and take a look, shall we? They're not working today. Well, they've even got a porter, porter loo there, look for the workers. Go and take a look, shall we? Paddy and Murphy as usual. Murphy's trying to grab sticks out of the hedge. Come on, Murphy. Unfortunately, Murph, come on. Oh, nearly tripped me up. Good start. Unfortunately, Murphy shouldn't be running around with sticks at the moment, as you may see. Stand up. Don't go and lie down. He's wearing a leg brace. Because he's... Uh, he strained his ligament, his cruciate ligament. Not quite sure how bad it is. He's been limping on and off. And he's he's a bit uh, wary of putting his foot down properly. But being Murphy, he doesn't know he's supposed to rest. It's really quite frustrating. I can't leave him at home because he keeps on at me all day, all night rather. Um, he's got energy to burn. It's quite frustrating exercising him. Uh, trying to give him enough exercise. I try to give all mental stimulation. God, this video sound like a right moan, isn't it? Mental stimulation. So they've cut down some logs there. But um, he's still got the energy to burn. So, I'm taking him out on gentle trots, gentle walks. I can't have him running around fetching sticks and balls. I can't have him twisting and turning, sprinting on that leg. He doesn't seem to make any difference to him until he gets back later on. Then he shows the signs of uh, it hurting him. I might be wrong, I might not, but I might be too soft letting him get his own way, taking him out. But he is quite a full on dog. Anyway, we'll see, I'll proceed on our walk as some dogs coming this way. We'll have to uh, keep an eye on these two boys. Wait for me, Paddy. Good boys. Well, I won't put the camera too high because some people don't like to be filmed. So, um, I'll just keep it down low. You know, so, yeah. It's all right. Hey, hello, mate. Old oak tree. Hello, oak tree. Yeah, they've been cutting out the uh, ash trees, thinning out the wood. You may remember if you've looked at some of my other videos, I showed you there's trees that have been mocked up. They uh, mocked them up with some orange spots. So I, could t so I thought, hey, up, there's going to be some work going on here. Lots of timber lying around. Um, as that sign on the gate as we came in said, they're going to be, they'd be using horses to drag these logs out. Lots and lots of it, look. Yeah, Murphy's done his cruciate ligament. Uh, I'm going to try and hope that it heals itself. 
I might have to start being stricter on him and just taking him on lead walks, not letting him off. But I'll tell you what, he's one hell of a dog. He needs his activity. So, uh, yeah. Because if he makes his, if he actually tears his uh, ligament, it ruptures. He's in big trouble. It could be an operation job. A very expensive operation job. I'm hoping, well, I've done lots of research on it. Lots of all sorts of advice, as you do. Um, recovery period is quite a long time. So, his days of being Mr. Superdog, athletic Murphy, sporty Murphy, swimming, jumping, running, swimming in a river. Yeah, he can go swimming, but that's good for him, actually. But he can't be running up and down the riverbanks. Those sort, those sort of activities are going to be off for him now. Then they put orange spots on the trees that they wanted to take out. Yeah, so Murphy can't, is not going to be able to be the same dog. He's only seven years old. Still got a long way to go, but unfortunately, as I say, look at him. He can't help but by wanting to have a stick. Yeah, you can carry it. I'm not throwing it because I can't have you darting and twisting and turning around to try and catch it. Oh yeah, you can see they've had horses here, look. There you go, you see they've had horses in here. I don't know if it's closed when they're working. I suppose if you put your dogs on the lead, keep them out of the way, be okay. All this wood needs to thin out anyway. It was all too close together. It's not an old wood, it's a reasonably young wood. As you can see, it's quite dense, quite thick. It allow the oak trees and various other trees for some space to grow. Right, well there you go. So I'm not going to be you're not going to be seeing too many activity videos of Murphy for a long while now. He's, going to, he's finding it very boring, frustrating, aren't you, Murphy? Hey, eh? needs a different brain transplant. Wouldn't be the same dog, then, would you? Need to. That's trouble if you get a high drive working dog. Uh, there are border collies, and there are border collies. I've had border collies before. Murphy's something else. Yeah, they're all intelligent, active dogs. Of course, we know that. They all like their agility and athletics and mental stimulation. Murphy's on a different level. I'm, I've never had a dog like him. He's, uh, it's like he's not, he's like he's not wired up right. <laughs> well, he comes from a a working family. Both parents are farm dogs and uh, really should have been on a farm. Still, if he'd have pulled his cruise ship him out on the farm, his working days would probably be over as well, wouldn't they? It's a bloody nasty injury. See, human beings have got the, the brains to know they have to rest. We can stimulate ourselves different ways. We can watch YouTube videos. We can watch TV, go on, go on the internet, and just take it easy, generally. But uh, dogs have got a different drive to people. Look at that, I mean, he just jumped over a log. He's on Metacam, anti-inflammatory painkiller. I'm using some herbal remedies as well. He eats plenty of fish anyway. Uh, they, get, they get through. A, few, a bit of fish every week, on well, most days, not every day, but most days, and they eat a bit of, quite a bit of raw food as well. Uh, and I 
also put turmeric, which is good anti-inflammatory, plus various other things you can uh, use to help with inflammation and healing. Anyway, back to the portaloo. We just walked around in a quick circle. We cut through the middle to make it short. Come on, boys. We're leaving the wood now. Yep, yep, Murphy's got a stick, leave it behind, thank you. This gate's broke. Those two ladies didn't close it behind them, did they? Well, we're not going to film too much more. I don't want to get into any bother with anybody. Today, because, as I say, I don't like filming people, unless they want me to. You've seen all this before. This is a bit of a cheerful video, isn't it? Listen to me moan, moan, moan. But, uh, anyway. Really worth tuning in to watch, wasn't it? Anyone who's got any good advice um, about the cruciate ligament or anything like that, um, let me know. You probably tell me I shouldn't be taking him out right now. Yeah, he's wearing this brace. Let's see how he gets on. Uh, there are all other braces on the market. Some really good, good ones that might be taken off uh, looking at some point. Some very expensive braces on the market. So uh, anyone who's been through something similar, got any good recommendations? They think it's worked or how helped. Do let me know. Because he's not going to be the same dog again. Liam Murphy boy. You wouldn't think there's anything wrong with him at the moment. Well, you might see he skips a bit on that leg. He skips. Later on. Later on when he's rested. I'll be showing the signs. But the uh, medication and various things, I'm supplements and things I'm giving him, probably taking the edge of it. That's the trouble. Take the edge off it, which is good. Take the inflammation away, which is good. Might also make him feel, oh, it's not so bad now. I can do this and I can do that. So, also wearing the brace, it also kind of restricts him a bit. Uh, <laughs> Strict him from cocking his leg. I don't know if I can get that on film. Because um, there's a strap that goes underneath the middle. He can only get his legs apart so far when he cocks his leg. So he has to balance a bit on the one foot, on the one leg. So uh, <laughs> that's not so good anyway. So, right. morning. So, um, yeah. Right, good boys, wait there. Ooh, the gate. Good lads. Homeward bound, we're heading for home. We've come out later this morning. Had a bit of a restless night. Had a, I went back to sleep. It's my day off today. So I thought, oh, have a bit of a lie in, mate. You can hear the voices of people coming this way. So, yeah, I've come out a bit later today, so there's more people about. It's the end of the school holidays soon so families and kids will be trying to make the most of what's left god this summer has really gone fast i think i mean it doesn't seem five minutes since it was lovely spring and already we're september approaching autumn so uh 
It's really floating by. Come on in. Yeah. All right there. Come on, Murphy. Uh, sorry, Paddy. This way. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. You do nice, eh? Eh? Oh, she nice. Do you like her? Yeah. Good boy. This may be wanting to be harvested soon. The uh, kernels are real big and fat. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Pointers. They're a strong fit dog with loads of energy and go forever all day. Yeah, look at these. Corn on the cobs when they go brown. When the tassels go brown on the end, I'm just about ready. I'm not going to split one and open them one. I think people have been doing that anyway. There's one on the ground here, look. Oh, I can't be bothered. See if I can find one that's been split open. Naughty people and kids have been ripping them open. Let's have a look at them. Oh, did you see him cock his leg then? Nearly fell over. Come on, Murph. Look at that, it's hardly grown there in the shadow of this oak tree. This oak tree's uh, taken all the moisture out of the ground on both sides of the tree. On both sides of the tree, the, uh, the nose is short. Hmm. Good for you, tree. Get what you can. This human world. Well, I'm going to end the film now because it's going to be, for a while, it's going to be maize fields after maize fields after maize fields. So, uh, quick little walk. Oh, look. Elderberries. Apparently, elderberry is really good for inflammation. Is it true? <coughs> Have I got that wrong? Elderflower. Cordial, or made from the flower, elderberries. I think they've got some medicinal properties. Maybe I got that wrong. I'll look, 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 look that up later on. I think it's good for helping you clear your chest and mucus, actually. So if you get a bit, you get a bit chesty, and I've been getting quite a bit chesty lately. It's been keeping me awake in the early hours of the morning, <coughs> making me quite tired. Uh, I've been to the doctor about it before, and he just told me to take some allergy sprays. I'm going to have to look into it again. <coughs> oh look, there's some red berries on this uh, bryony. Red berries on the bryony. Bryony is a climbing, it's a climbing sprawling plant. Climbs through the uh, hedgerows. Right. Just where have they gone? <whistles> Good boy, buddy. Should have made Murphy run back. Okay, Murphy. <whistles> you. You went a bit too far ahead then, didn't you? Hey. I'm not going to make him run all the way back with his leg. <laughs> Come on, buddy! Yay! Good lad. Come on, then. Good boy. <laughs> Murph knows, see? He's not running back, he's stopping instead. So he... He knows, he knows his leg's not the, not great. Well, shall I film a bit more? 
Shall I not film a bit more? Probably want to switch off by now. There's a, a maize kernel, sweet corn, whatever you want to call it. Maize. Oh. Ah, they've taken it out. In the middle. Oh, we've got a cyclist coming now. Let's hope this, if we can get out of his way. <whistles> Off. Murphy! Murphy! Alright. <laughs> All you have to do is slow down and stay around them carefully. Mountain biking. I like mountain biking. <laughs> I have my bike necked and haven't replaced it. Oh, I used to like doing that with Murphy. I can't do it now, can I? Damn, see, it's all these things I can't do now. I can't push him too, can't take him too far. It's going to change things for me a bit. I hope I haven't, I hope I haven't taken him too far today. I've also got Paddy to exercise. Paddy's got to get enough exercise as well. I tried taking them out separate, and it's like utter betrayal from Murphy's point of view, <laughs> and vice versa. I take them both out separately. So yeah, but it's nice. But, but it's nice to have some one-on-one -on -one time. Oh, anyway, here we go. There's a there's a sweet corn kernel. Should be full of milk. Shouldn't have done that. I might have squeezed it on the camera. Squeezed it on the camera. I have tried a bit. Oh, I didn't try any bit then. It's kind of not quite the same as proper sweet, as usual edible sweet corn. You can eat it, of course, but it's maize. It's used in lots of, th lots of things, isn't it? It's different, there's different varieties, aren't they? There's a a really nice one for eating, more sweeter and plumper. Right, let's, uh, should we wrap it up now then boys? Yep, well, that's a goodbye from me and Paddy and Murphy. All the best, take care, look after yourselves, look after your dogs. Bye bye.